Ten bad bitches in a mansion. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Perry. I'm the producer, and I'm gonna show y'all how I turn this into that. Ten bad bitches in a mansion. Just flipping oldies and putting acapellas on them. That's what I'm gonna show y'all. Let's get into it. Let's get to work. So you already know. You know what this is, Ableton Live game. Look at look at the color scheme, all organized. And I, I'm I'm trying to be more organized for y'all, for myself, and for y'all. Anyway, got this sample here from YouTube. I uh, pretty simple stuff. You just type in. I typed in Soul Sample, came up with this. Shout out to Bailey Gary. Sorry, I took your song. Uh, and I just took the first like. So yeah, I took that, transposed that down, and I slowed it down. I added this tape stop effect at the end, which you can do by clicking this button right here and going down to transportation and then just drag like at the end, last couple bars. Take it down to about 17 semitones and it'll make like a little cut. You and to get that like elevator music and sound, I automated this EQ right here. All together, it sounds like that. Right? Boom, there you go. I made like a simple drum pattern. And the sample has bass in the background. So I wanted to bring that out. So to do that, you just EQ the low ends, you know, take out all those, those, those highs, anything you don't want, EQ that low end and then put a little saturator on there. I used a bit warmer. Turned it, I didn't even turn it up, I just threw it on there and it sounded good. good. And that just brought out all like the lows and the bases out of the sample. Then for this one, I just took all the lows out, took some of those highs out too, because it had like, um, it had hi-hats in it too. It has drums in it, but you can barely hear it over everything else, so it's not too big of a deal. I'll show y'all what it sounds like with that new bass being brought up. Hear that bass solo guy right there. So what I did after that, I added these vocal chops right here. I was sitting there, I was like, man, it needs more, but I don't know what to do. So I was like, I'm just gonna throw acapella on it. So I searched up 125 BPM acapella, 21 Savage X came up and I was like, all right, it was easy. So what I did here is you see that I took out some of the, uh, the intro and then I had to uh, slow it down. I stretched it out a bit. You can stretch it out by just moving this segment BPM up and down while the warp's on. Well, I had to warp a few spots, as you can see. You just, you know, put a little pin in, drag it to the right spot, and then we were good to go. Then I just chopped up the bars right here, and I just nudged them over till they all fit. And the song is like four minutes long, so I just cut it after Future's verse, and then I just went back into the chorus, and that was the end of the song. So I, what I did to his vocals was I pitched them down two semitones, and then... I, that's it. Then <laughs> I slowed him down. <laughs> 10 bad bitches in a mash. Rich so many rock them diamonds on me dancing. When you working hard, then your money start expanding. I got model bitches want to lick me like some candy. And them drugs come in handy. So 
a little reverb on that and some delay and it was saucy and like as soon as i dropped it on there i nudged it over and i got it lined up it's pretty simple after that uh and this is it Ten bad bitches in a mesh Three song really rock the diamonds on me dance When you working hard then your money start expanding I got model bitches wanna leave me like some candy And them drawers come in handy Uh so when he goes into his verse what I did I just added this Boom. So that's just like a pre verse kind of thing. A bridge. We're going to call it a bridge. So I, that's for the bridge. I just threw in. It's literally the same instrument and beat throughout the whole song but what carries the song is 21 savage and that it has enough space for him to do his thing on it so the only changes i made were the vocal chops and then i added like a pluck in the actual verse go like this Bam, change it up there. Add a little sound something. Then it goes into uh I think this is future futures verse. Put on Listen on the bitch, hold on. I ain't texting back that bitch, hold on. No way, no way. I ain't stressing back that bitch, hold on. Twenty one go get the stick, hold on. So just I took out the vocal chops and it's just the uh sample playing. Yeah, pretty simple. The rest of the song was just like very repetitive and I didn't want the whole song. I mean, I guess I could just found more elements to put and then like rearrange it around. But it was just like a quick little thing I was throwing together. So I didn't want it to drag on and on and on and on and on. So I just cut it right there and I was like, hey, that's the end of Futures Verse. And we're going back to the um, course. And that's it. And then it just goes back into the course. <laughs> Then we got the bridge again. That's just gonna bridge the chorus to the outro, and it's just. Then I finally changed it up a bit. Got the, just the I got just the sample playing, and I got the original vocal sample, and then I just take out the hats and the snare, and I just got the kick and those perks going for the outro and this. Automation on the um, on this master track just to fade out. Probably could have just did like a um, what's that thing called a fade. I didn't feel like doing it for each single one. I was like, I'll just fade the master track. Why haven't I thought of that before? I don't know if that's unorthodox, but I did it anyway. So uh, yeah, I put it on TikTok and Instagram, and people were like, release this song, release this song. So I released the song. It's on the page. I'm going to leave one of those like little eye thingies above me. I'll give y'all a second to click it. Oh, no, you're still here. All right. But uh, so, yeah, I just said like, you know, for the for the producer homies who wanted to see the session, it's not too, not too extreme. Then you take 
you take that off this is this is ready for a rapper a rapper could do his thing on this i don't know about the whole sample thing getting cleared i mean if any rapper wants this hit me up you can have it for free and you can do your thing on it but if you get sued don't call don't call me i ain't getting you out of jail thank you for watching it's been a pleasure i put out some more beats put out some old videos some tutorials i'm just gonna be cooking up probably in the next couple videos i got a bunch of projects i need to do so and i've gotten the okay to film it so that's what i'm gonna do and that's the content for the ne next couple weeks is gonna be just making beats and showing y'all my process on making beats so uh if you won't if you won't see that just you know subscribe and like and come back when i make another video so you know we can we can build together it's been good it's your boy p get back to work peace